A machine gun of mass 10 kilogram fires 20 bullets, 20 gram bullets at the okay it's at the oh so this is the question see there are some there are some questions in the series which may not be complete and which may not have all the options as well so i'm sorry for that um now with a speed of 100 meter per second each and this actually i think the the recoil velocity is the question the recoil velocity of the gun is the recoil velocity is the question okay so um, so first let us write down what all things are given to us So a machine gun of mass 10 kilogram fires 20. So we'll say mass of gun is 10 kilogram. Mass of gun is 10 kilogram. Mass of bullet is 20 grams. So we'll convert it right here. So 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram. Number of bullets in one second. So it's given that 180 bullets per minute, right? So it is 180 bullets. 180 bullets per 180 bullets per minute. How much this will be equal to? This will be equal to 180 bullets. How much is 1 minute? So this is 1 minute. So 1 minute is 60 seconds. So which gives us 3 bullets, right? 3 bullets per second, right? So we have 3 bullets per second. Okay. Now, mm, if we have 3 bullets per second, Number of bullets in one second is equal to 3. Initial velocity of bullet is 0. And final velocity of bullet is given to us as 100 meter per second. Now let us try to visualize the, the, the concept one more time. So um, I think the, the question, number, question number 1 on this series was uh, again based on the same concept. So um, uh, for those who are watching it online, I'll put a... Um, link somewhere over here in the video which will help you to going back to the question it's a similar question see practice similar questions will make your confidence boost right okay so what we have here is the system here what we consider is to be the bullet and the gun right so what is the system the system is this complete system will comprise of so what is this dotted line represent this dotted line represents the system and what is the system com comprises of it comprises of gun and the bullet so now we consider the system we consider the system before and after firing so before and after firing if we assume this to be the system we can say that there is no external force acting on it right there is no external force acting on it so all the forces that is causing the bullet to act is actually coming due to the gun actually due to the chemical reaction but it is coming within the system and not due to any other external agent right no external agent is acting on it all of the motion within the system is taking place due to the forces which are acting within the system right within the system not external okay since there is no external force acting on it we can say that change in momentum is equal to zero and if change in momentum is equal to zero it means that momentum is a constant and therefore Initial momentum should be equal to final momentum. Now, initial momentum will have two components. One, the bullet. Two, the gun. Final momentum will have two components. One, the bullet. And two, the gun. Okay. So, I hope that this much is clear. That concept is clear. Let us now try to make it in a mathematical way. So, this is the system. Okay. Now, see. Now, this is understood. We don't need to do other system every time. Right. So, this is the system here. And in this system, the initial momentum has two components, one of the gun and the second of the bullet. So what is momentum? Mass into velocity. Mass of gun into initial velocity of gun plus mass of bullet into initial velocity of bullet. Now, initial velocity of bullet and initial velocity of gun is zero because both of them are, are at rest. And therefore, mg into ug will be mg into zero plus mb into zero. And therefore, these two terms become zero plus zero. Now, Coming to the final position after firing, so after firing, the system still remains the same. The bullet and the block is the system, right? Bullet and the block is the system. And when bullet and the block is the system, what we have is final velocity is VB for the bullet and final velocity for the gun is VG. And it is this VG what we call as the, the recoil, the recoil velocity. So we can write here that MG VG plus MB VB. 
and if we transpose MPVB to the RHS, what we get is MGVG will be actually, so I just skipped one step, maybe maybe I, can, I should write down that also. So we have MB into MG into VG minus MG into VG is equal to minus MG into VG is equal to MB into VB and therefore we have VG is equal to MB by MG into VB. This minus represents that the velocity, since we say it is velocity and not speed, we say that velocity is in the opposite direction right velocity is in the opposite opposite direction and it is this minus vg what we call as the what we call as the recoil velocity right recoil velocity of the gun now one specific thing that we need to understand here is see this complete set of mathematical equations what we write is in terms of one second it is meter per second meter per second so every calculation is based on one second so rate of momentum in one second is what we do but According to the question, in one second, how many bullets are fired? In one second, three bullets are fired. So ideally what we should be doing is, instead of 3 MB, we should be writing here, sorry, instead of MB, MBVB, we should write in 3 MBVB. 3 MBVB. 3 MBVB. Okay? Let me just take one more minute to explain you, um, to, to make it that, that, that concept. See, what we have here is one second, we have three bullets, right? So what is momentum of one bullet? It is mass into velocity. So what will be momentum of three bullets? It will be three into momentum of one bullet, which is three MB. Maybe one more time. What is final momentum of one bullet? It is MB. Uh, in this case, in this case, it should be, um, what is mass of the bullet? It is 20 into 10 to the power minus three kilogram into, what is velocity? Velocity is 100 meter per second in which case what will be final momentum of three bullets it will be three into final momentum of one bullet which will be three into this value so we have three into 20 into 10 to the power minus three into 100 into kilogram meter per second right so this is the final momentum this is three into 20 into 10 to the power minus three into 100 now why is this because when one second we know it's not one bullet being fired we have one second three bullets are being fired so that's how the equation get modified here. I hope that concept is clear. So now let us bring go back go back to the equation. Okay. So now now we can write that minus Vg is equal to what is mass of bullet? Mass of bullet is given to us as twenty grams, right? So it is twenty into ten to the power. Okay. Now this there's one three missing here, right? So there'll be three here. Okay. So we have three into twenty into ten to the power minus 3 into what is velocity of bullet it is 100 meter per second the whole divided by what is mass of gun mass of gun is given to us as 10 kilograms so now you may be wondering what about the units we will see that so this is kilogram into kilogram into meter per second and therefore kilogram kilogram will cancel that the final equation will be in terms of meter per second which is velocity so that equation is dimensionally consistent so now all we need to do is solve the equation so what we get is minus Vg is equal to 3 into 2, okay now say um, 10 by 10 is 1, 3 into 2 is 6, 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power plus 2, therefore minus Vg is 6 into 10 to the power minus 1 or otherwise minus Vg is 6 by 10 which is 0 0.6 meter per second, therefore the recoil velocity of the gun is, therefore the recoil velocity of the gun is equal to 0 0.6 meter per is the concept.